Between 2012 and 2020, Juventus won Serie A every single season. It was complete dominance of Italian football. However, in the last three seasons, things have not gone to plan. They finished 4th, 4th and 7th. But there is life in the old lady yet, as currently in this Serie A season, after 11 games played, they sit just 2 points behind top of the table into Milan. For the first time in a while, Juventus look a real threat, and in this video, I'm going to be asking the question, are Juventus back? If you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Don't get me wrong, there's still problems at Juventus, none least their financial situations. Last year they were handed a points deduction which saw them go from a Champions League spot to a Conference League spot, but that didn't matter anyway because UEFA handed them a one year ban on European competitions along with a 20 million euro fine for breaking FFP. Talented Juventus midfielder Fagioli was banned for seven months due to breaching betting rules. Paul Pogba has also since been banned for use of testosterone. There still are a lot of problems at Juventus, but that's off the pitch. On the pitch they've looked pretty impressive. It wasn't even a particularly impressive transfer window because three of the five players they spent money on were already at the club on loan previously, Locatelli, Moises, Keane and Milik, the only other significant signing being Timothy Weah. And the only players they sold were already out on loan, Kuliseski and Denis Sicaria. The only real significant losses were players that went on free transfers including Juan Contrado and Angel Di Maria. Yes, two very old players, but two still very good players. But yet, despite this, they currently sit second in Serie A, playing 11 matches, drawing two, losing one. And if they win their next two games, they'll be top of Serie A because after the international break, their first game back is Inter Milan at home. A huge huge game if they want any shout of a title. And that's going to be a very difficult game for Inter Milan because that is a tough team to play away. Now Juventus don't score many goals, they've only scored 17 in 11 games, it's not great. But as Sir Alex Ferguson said, defence wins you titles and in their last 6 games Juventus haven't conceded a single goal. The last goal they conceded was on September 23rd. And some of those clean sheets come against the likes of AC Milan, Atlanta, Fiorentina, all very good sides. This would be a huge achievement for Juventus considering all the problems they've had in the last 3 seasons. Off the pitch I've already mentioned it but even on the pitch they haven't won a trophy since May of 2021 which seemingly isn't a long time but for a club as big as Juventus that is a very long wait so even if they were to win a Coppa Italia just get their hands on any bit of silverware I think it would be an impressive achievement but why should they just aim for a cup because this team is capable of winning the league defensively they're solid Chesney's an experienced goalkeeper the back line is looking good even Rugani who was dead wood at Juventus a couple of years ago he's even impressing the midfield is solid Rabio Locatelli Moretti good mix of talent experience I think up front is really where they're probably not performing as well as they should be. If Chiesa can get back to what he was before his injury, Vlahovic shows what he was at Fiorentina, then potentially Juventus stand a real shout of winning Serie A. And don't get me wrong, I'm completely aware we're only 11 games into the Serie A season, but when you consider Juventus aren't playing European football, they can just rest on the weekdays, put in extra trainings, get better, recover from previous matches, while the likes of Inter, AC Milan, Napoli, they all have to focus on European games. Juventus can solely put their focus into Serie A and cup competitions, domestic football in Italy. Those other teams don't have that luxury. Now, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say they will win Serie A. I think they have the capabilities to do so, but I'm not guaranteeing it. But one thing I think is for sure, Serie A is going to be a lot closer than it was last season where Napoli were winning it with 15 games to spare. But let me know what you think in the comments. Are Juventus potentially looking dangerous again? If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.